So you want a family home in North Vancouver, but $2 million is not in your budget. Well, neither was it for my clients. Today, I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of some properties that I was touring clients. There are professionals with children. They need three bedrooms. They love North Vancouver, but two million is not in the budget. So if you're similar to them, stick around for this video and make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to share why in the upcoming months, this price point of 1.5 million is going to heat up in the Vancouver real estate market. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about real estate and living in Vancouver, subscribe below. Tap the bell for notifications to be the first to hear what's going on in the current market. My name is Megan Becker, a local realtor. Myself and my team get calls every day from people looking to make this incredible city their home. So whether you're moving in 90s or 90 days, give me a call, text, or email, and I'm excited to help you make moves in the best city in Canada. Okay, before we jump onto the computer and look at North Vancouver, a little backstory on these clients. So like I mentioned, their budget is around that 1.5 million mark. They need a three bedroom. They love North Vancouver, the schools there. They grew up in the mountains and they love being active. Same thing with their children. They want to be able to have easy access to mountain biking, trail running, paddle boarding, skiing, snowboarding in the winter time and all that North Vancouver has to offer. So we're going on a virtual tour and I'm showing you some of the properties that they're looking at all around that 1.5 million mark. Let's zoom in on North Vancouver here. So quick little side note, North Vancouver is actually split up into two areas. You have the city of North Vancouver, which is roughly this area. And then you have the district, which encompasses everything else. So for the purpose of this video, the two areas don't really matter. Where it matters is if you're purchasing a single family lot and it comes down to zoning on what you can do on each of the lots. So for this video and this property tour, we're looking at attached properties, duplexes and townhomes. So the zoning is not really going to come into effect here. So let's start in the east here. So this is a really cool area close to Deep Cove, which Deep Cove is just up here. And this is a really cool area. I have a very, very good friends that live in this area here. They love being just outside of central North Vancouver in an area called Rock Point. They work close to here and they're in the trails, mountain biking, hiking, paddle boarding on the ocean there with their dog. And that's one of the things they love about this area. It's a little bit more secluded, but let's take a look at 3597 Malsum Drive. So this property is a three bedroom, a three bath, currently on the market for 1,499,000. It's built in 2019 and then it's 1831 square feet on three levels here. So a notable thing before we get into this property is it is a leasehold. The nice thing about this property though is the lease expires in 2128. So it is a long ways into the future. Where I really caution clients with leaseholds is when they expire in the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. That's where you really wanna be aware. But when the lease is so far out, you're not gonna have any issues when it comes to financing. You're gonna have less of an issue on the resale. Leasehold properties tend to appreciate a little bit on a flatter of a curve than a freehold property, but you're still going to see the appreciation there. And the pros with leaseholds is that you can typically get more square footage. So it really comes down to your preference and what suits your goals and your needs. But this property, like I mentioned, area really quiet. You're a little bit further removed from amenities, but if you want the quieter, close to nature, this area might check your box. So newer townhome here, nice modern look, You've got the double garage at the base, this new open kitchen. This one had a lot of space. That, that was a very big positive about this one. Huge main floor, main floor living area there. Lots of different like little seating areas there. Nice big master, big walk-in closet. So kind of gives you an idea of this one. You've got a little bit of a backyard here, which is nice. That's what, another one of the things these guys really liked about this one. That's just great outdoor space. And then a huge garage. Let's jump back over to the map and we're gonna head west. We're gonna go to 1719 Rufus Drive. So you notice, nice thing about this area is you are very close to access onto Highway 1, whether you're going south into Vancouver or Burnaby, or you want to head northwest up to Whistler, Squamish, West Vancouver, or if you want to head north up Mountain Highway up to the trails. So many options. So 1719 Rufus Drive. This property was built in 1985. It's currently on the market for 1,525,000. Three bed, three bath. And then we're 2104 square feet on three levels here. 
So lots of square footage, a little bit over older of a property here. There's always a give and take. If we're looking at a specific price point, that's why I picked these properties to show these guys. It's because I wanted to give them a good sense of what you can get for the dollar amount. So sometimes it's more square footage and you've got the leasehold. More square footage, older property. You want a newer property, but a freehold, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit smaller of a square footage. So this tour is really to give you guys an idea of what you can get here for that around that 1.5 million mark. So to note, this is a freehold property. You notice a nice large backyard here. That was one of the things that was really important to them is just having some outdoor space for the kids to play, for parents to hang out, double car garage. This one has definitely been redone and renovated. Lots of space dated, but certain parts of it have been updated here. This not been updated, <laughs> but what I always encourage is and the same, the same thing. Kitchen not updated here. What I always encourage clients is look at this with a lens of what can you do with this property? Do you like the location, the size, the floor plan? And we can make tweaks. We can paint, we can do cabinets, cupboards, things like that. And so there's a lot of space here. They love the outdoor space in this one. All right, back over to the map. And we're going to stay up in the north in here in Lynn Valley, 3150 Sunnyhurst. And another really great area. I love Lynn Valley up here. So close to all of the trails here. You've got straight up access to the Baden-Powell Trail you can get on there. You've got Lynn Creek up here. Lynn Canyon, which I've been on cold plunging there before. There's a really cool spot there. Easy access to lots of different hikes and trails. So we're at unit three, 3150 Sunnyhurst Road. This property was built in 2006 and it's currently on the market for 1,525,000. So we're three bed, three bath, and we're 1,567 square feet on four levels here. So this is a townhouse in a complex. Uh, there's about 16 units in this complex here. So let's go through and take a look here. Cute little entryway, a little bit smaller of a main floor here. That's one of the drawbacks of lots of different levels is that you're less square feet on each level, but it really depends on someone's lifestyle. If you want the separation of space, the townhomes that are really stacked like this might be a really great option. So these guys, because they have kids and just their, their lifestyle, they didn't love this one as much. They really liked the area, but just not the not as much of, of the separation and in, in all honesty, all of the stairs. But if somebody wants, I know clients, some clients really like that separation. If somebody works from home and needs some quiet space, maybe on that top floor, you can still have that upper floor for the bedrooms. If somebody's with kids or having other kids downstairs, it really honestly depends on lifestyle. So you're in this townhome complex, less of the outdoor space in this one here. All right, now we're gonna head south. First gonna go in Central Lonsdale here, 2358 Western Ave, which is just off of Lonsdale Ave here. So this is another townhouse, unit number 17 here, 2358 Western Ave. This property was built in 2017, currently on the market for 1,499,900, four bed, four bath, and we're 1824 square feet on four levels. So they've done a really great job at staging this property. That's one of the things that stuck out for me. So this is kind of that traditional townhome, uh, the long and narrow, you've got the glass staircase, which just opens it up a little bit which is really nice. Nice newer kitchen. Got the longer island here. Little dining nook. Little bit of an outdoor space in this one. Not as much as obviously as some of those others, but we're getting into more central North Vancouver. So we're going to start to see how that gets reflected in price here. Decent sized bedrooms. And then got lots of little balcony spaces. Some the basement. And then you've got the rooftop for the upper deck and a little bit of outdoor space here. So continuing down into closer to Lower Lonsdale here, we're going to make a stop at East Keith Road. So we're at unit number seven at 270 East Keith Road. We're still in central Lonsdale. This property was built in 1996 and is currently on the market for 1,498,000. So we're three bed, three bath, and then we're 1,476 square feet on two levels here. Nice outdoor deck. You've got outdoor like backyard space here. Little dated, but still great potential with this one. The pro here is the location. So as you can see, kind of we're, we're getting a little bit smaller in these properties and they're staying around the same price. It's nice you've got the outdoor space. You can really do some cool stuff with the outdoor space. Put some turf down, create almost like a second living area in the warmer months anyways. <laughs> 
So I hope you're getting value from this tour so far. And if you are, I would so appreciate it if you hit that like button and please subscribe. It tells YouTube that you're valuing the content and encourages me to keep doing more tours like this. But if there's any area or price point that you're curious about, I would love for you to put it in the comments and I'll add that to my list of next videos to do. All right, let's get back to this one. So here's the outdoor space. You could put some turf down there, get some outdoor furniture. Got the alleyway and then the garage space there, which is nice. Use it for storage. You can use it for, you know, maybe a gym, put your car there, however you want to use that space. Okay, we're heading into one of my favorite neighborhoods and that is Lower Lawnsdale here. One of the cool things about this area is that all of this is really up on a slope. And so you get some really great views of the inlet as well as downtown Vancouver. So we're going to 429 St. Andrews Ave. So you're super close to the shipyards, to the quay. That's really like the central area in Lower Lonsdale. It's where all the restaurants are, kind of the hub, the downtown, if you want to call it that. Lots of really good restaurants. So we're 429 St. Andrews. This property was built in at 1987 and we're currently on the market for 1,458,000. Three bed, three bath, and then we're 1415 square feet on two different levels here. So this is a townhouse and it's an end unit, which is really nice. You're not just that long and narrow type. So pretty large living area. This is a large piece of furniture, this couch here. You've got a lot of, of living space in there, which is nice. They've staged this one really well. I like these kitchen tables with the benches as half the table. I don't know, just aesthetically. Functionality, I really like that. There's been some nice updates done. I like the big window in the kitchen there. Upstairs laundry, a nice rooftop patio. There's a lot of properties in the Lower Lonsdale area that have the rooftops and I absolutely love them. How nice would it be just to spend some time outside, whatever season, it doesn't get super cold here, but when it does get cool, you have a fireplace like that, or even like maybe have a, an added heat lamp and you can use that outdoor space all year round. Nice large primary suite here. It's doubling as their office and their workout space. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, so this is, well, that is East Vancouver that we see directly across the water there. Really nice outdoor area love window seats. So getting a good idea of this property. I really liked this one. Um, the drawback of this one is it didn't have as much outdoor space, uh, like a yard space as, as some of the other ones that were a little further north. All right, now we're gonna go to 433 East 3rd Street. So this is a brand new build, built in 2024, completed this year. And it's currently on the market for 1,549,000. Four bed, three bath, and we're 1661 square feet, essentially on four levels here. So nice new build here. There's lots of these new townhomes in and around this area of Lower Lonsdale here. So this is 3rd Ave. So one of, the, one of the things to note about is 3rd Ave is a pretty main road here. So we'd wanna check out, we didn't actually see this one, but something to be aware of is just where is the entryway, where are the windows and everything compared to that main road. So nice open main floor. Again, the appeal to this one is it's brand new. So. With brand new, not only do you get a home that nobody has lived in, you get the two, five, 10 year warranty, which just gives you extra peace of mind if anything were to go wrong with the home. And then we're gonna continue a little further east. So this whole area here, kind of right around here, it's called Moodyville. And I really like it because it's a little bit quieter. It's still super close to lower, like the key in Lower Lonsdale, the shipyards, but you're a little further removed. There's lots of townhomes with rooftop patios. There you have easy access to the Spirit Trail. The Spirit Trail runs essentially like along here. And you've got Moodyville Park, which is a huge like park with tons of trees, trails, whatever you want to use it for. So we're going to take a look at two different properties. And I would love for you to tell me which one you prefer here. Okay, first property here, built in 2020, currently on the market for 1,525,000, four bed, four bath, and then we're 18, 22 square feet on four levels here. So this one essentially is that longer and narrow type of, uh, type of townhouse here. Got the kitchen in the back here, not a super spacious kitchen, depending on how you like to cook or if you want two people in the kitchen, this one might, might be a little tricky to do that. But nice glass stairway here.
And then we've got this one. So this is another townhome right in the same area, 105, 707 East 3rd. So this one was built in 2019, currently on the market for 1,549,000. So we're at three bed, three bath, and this is 1417 square feet on two levels here. Little spoiler alert, this one was my pick because of the windows here. You've got the corner unit, so it allows just for more natural light. This is the main floor here, and you've got windows on both sides, floor to ceiling. This is Moodyville Park right out there. Really nice and bright. Faces south, you get tons of natural light through the day. Nice, gorgeous kitchen. Look at that, so pretty. And then this is actually the water beyond those trees there. Really nice outdoor patio space here. And then this over here is Moodyville Park, downtown Vancouver. It's kind of right, yeah, essentially beyond that post there. So you're gonna get some nice sunset views. This is Moodyville Park over here. Yeah, all of this is Moodyville Park, which is really nice that you back onto that. So that one was my pick. But tell me, put it in the comments, what, what would be your pick? A little bit more square footage or less square footage, better layout in my opinion anyways. So I'm curious, put it in the comment. Are there any of these properties that really stood out for you? And if there were, I would love for you to share why. What part of the property or the criteria really checked box for you? So the last thing I'll share before I wrap up here is why this $1.5 million price range is gonna heat up in the next handful of months here in Vancouver. Well, this is really big and exciting news for homeowners. The Minister of Finance just announced some changes to Canada's mortgage rules that's going to improve housing affordability. So number one, there's a higher insured mortgage cap. So now the cap on insured mortgages has gone from 1 million to 1.5 million. So now buyers can access homes with a 5% down payment on homes up to $1.5 million, making it even easier to get into the real estate market, especially if you have a family and you need a little bit more space and more bedrooms. The second thing is that they're extending the loan period. So first time buyers and those purchasing newly built properties can now opt for a 30 year amortization, reducing monthly payments and providing more flexibility. So these changes are aimed at helping with the affordability here in the greater Vancouver real estate market. But I'd love for you to put it in the comments. What do you think about these changes? Do you think it's gonna help? And so to wrap up, I hope that you got value from this video. If you did, I would so appreciate it if you hit that like button and please subscribe. And if you're considering making a move here in the greater Vancouver area, I would love the opportunity to chat. All my info is in the description box below, so please reach out. And until next time, it is a rainy evening here. One of my favorite things to do is grab a turmeric latte and go for a walk on the seawall.